Hello guys, Davio White here, yeah. and this is my first YouTube video, and I will be taking you on an illustration in Figma. Now, on the next episode, I will be drawing Encanto live in Figma, and I'll be inviting some people into Figma. Hopefully, that pulls through. So, without any further ado, let's get into it proper. So, this was Encanto. Encanto character I drew last week uh, that banged on Twitter. I got even a response from Figma um, And it was amazing to see that a lot of persons actually love the character and Many other persons actually doubted that I drew that character in Figma So here we are and that's why I decided to start this YouTube series of illustrations on Figma and this was the character that was drawn in Figma Encanto. Let's see that. Yes. So this was the character that was drawn in Figma. And it's hard to believe, but this was done in Figma. Um, so without any further ado, like I said, let's get into it. So we begin. All right. So by the right hand side, I have already my wireframes that I drew while creating this character. So I'm going to be moving this into this frame 23 in a short time from now. But I would like to show you how to go about getting this done. And already I have all my setup colors and effects that I'll be using for this illustration. Um, I wouldn't want to take much of your time and that's why I have laid out things that's going to be as guide for me to go through this illustration really quick so without wasting much of your time let's begin all right so i begin by grabbing the square tool um and i'll just draw holding shift holding shift you can get a complete uh, shape square to so, and to know that it's a complete shape square you just, just need to check the width and the height and so that's 414 by 414 and I like to change this to a stroke. I'm just going to show you how to go about some of the complex shapes here. And then I would copy this. I would move over to this. I'll move over to this 3D space. Uh, but let us let us do a bit of drawing. Uh, so this is it. But now, instead of doing this, I would like to use the pen tool. So let's use the pen tool. It's very easy to use what I've done but let's use the pen tool so I just come over here extend a bit click here let's zoom into this um, come here click you can see it also snaps telling you you're on the same line so I'll click and drag I would come back to work on this curves click come here click and drag a bit click back come here and end it i'll take this um two the bend two and then i'm just going to bend this uh bend somewhere here bend here use the move to come back move this just move around to ensure you just have something really really good and smooth uh, come back here. I just want to get a rounded shape. So I'm just gonna I'm just showing you how to get this done With the pen tool. like I said, we're going to go over to the already drawn uh, Wireframes click done and yeah, we have the head shape. So that's the head shape We move over here. That's the head shape and the next thing uh, is the eyes so in order for me to get the um the glasses I, I used um, a tool from the bowling group so what I did was get the circle to the Eclipse drag and I don't like I don't like tutorials being so fast so I'm not going to do this so so fast I'm just going to give you more of the details and I ensure that it's so clear and you can always ask me a question down in the comment section I'll be willing to drop answers and in my next tutorial if there are some complex ones i would 
definitely show you how to go around it so let's get back to work uh, stroke change that to two i like working with two close this out um i'm going to duplicate that again resize to resize i'm holding shift and alt and then left click and drag in so shift and alt to get a very good um smaller shape of the same shape um so right now i'm going to hold the both of them i'm going to first do the eyes so you can see the eyes the eyeball so i'm just going to do the eyeball first then we're going to duplicate it and then just move it to the next screen uh so the eyeball i'm going to hold one side and hold shift and just bring it a bit down let's eyeball this this is the main one so we eyeball that and come back to what we're doing um so with that done i'm going to duplicate it again because we're going to create we're going to create um reflections it's going to look like lights are reflecting in the eyes that that creates a bit of detail so i'm just going to reduce this i'm going to reduce this in size yeah and yeah so that's the eye shift 2 to zoom into your character shift 2 once you click shift and 2 you zoom into the exact um object you want to check just like this if i hold shift and click 2 it zooms into it. if i hold shift and click this it zooms into that one so that's what i'm doing in case you see me zooming in so fast so next i'm going to create the reflections uh, so usually um illustrations come with light and shadows so light and shadows give the realism of an illustration so this is my own idea i, I might be wrong but this is what i think about illustrations so i'm going to duplicate this and then we're going to create um, a reflection by the right here so i'm with this i don't want to draw it so I, all i have to do is come to the edit object up here click on it it's going to change this into a path then click on the move tool now i'm going to be using the move tool and not the bend tool so i'm going to click on the move tool and just move this node to the left so you can i'm holding shift so that it snaps on the same um axis so hold shift and then i'll move this to the left you can bring this down a bit so it's a bit rounded uh, but that's not necessary um click done duplicate hold shift h is going to flip it shift h is going to flip it shift v is going to give you like an upside down movement so but what we're doing is shift shift h all right to to move it to the opposite direction you can also right click and come down to flip horizontally and it's going to flip it back to what it was so we're not going we're not doing that today so i'm just going to move this to this point and then hold shift and resize shift and resize just resize it let it be smaller and we're done with that we're done with that how easy was that all right so yeah you can just bring this in a bit um sorry about that you can bring this a bit to somewhere around here um yeah so we're done with that um so with that done you can duplicate this so i'm just going to take out the background so we don't we don't have to be dragging on so many things i'll click this on click on this sorry on click this and then we're going to duplicate this to the other side so i'm just going to reduce this a bit reduce this and then duplicate do h shift h to move it to the other side to flip it and then just move it somewhere around here i'll just hold both of them to ensure that they are on the center of this inner shape i'll just move it and just fix it yeah perfect all right so that's how you can go about getting that shape of the eyes that i did there so this is the shape of the eyeball and all of those contents that are in there you can 
do the center pattern just by drawing a single line or just doing something and then the body the body part is it's very simple all you have to do is hold the eclipse tool and then just yeah just whatever size you want to do i'm holding shift that's why you're seeing that movement and yeah you just bring out the stroke take out the feel so this is how i create a wireframe so many people whenever i post my wireframe they're like how did you do that wireframe it's very easy it's very easy come read it's it's very very easy so this is how you go about getting the wireframe done you can always increase the size by going to mixed you can change it to one it becomes smaller sorry yeah it becomes smaller you can change it to six it becomes really bold and um, yeah so that's how i go about creating wireframes for my design and i can just click on figma um and just bring it in all right so like i said we would not be working with this so i'm just going to take this aside and then bring this into the forefront so it's time for us to add our colors so oh for the hair sorry about that um so for the hair it's very easy what i did was i used the rectangle tool and all i did was drag down i dragged it down and i changed the radius to 100 to give it a full radius you can also like move it in here um, so it's not a biggie but if, it, if you don't have that popping out you can always change it up here corner radius so i change it to 100 and then i go to edit so i'm just going to change this to a stroke first close out on this make this two and then i went to edit um and then i started moving things around i move this and then i use the bend to to create this use the move to to bend this basically just bending things around okay um so i i did this i did this and then use this click here move this this way move this this way and then just move everything and yeah we have what we're looking for so all i had to do was to duplicate bring it down uh flip it sorry sorry about that flipped it I flipped it reduced it by holding shift and dragging down a bit and yeah you're just gonna have that uh, so if we give this a color for instance let's say we give this a feel of this and put this downwards and give it a feel of this it's going to look something more like this okay so like those are the layers so like i said we'll not be working with this because of the time um we're far gone with the time so i'm just going to push this at the side and then bring this to the war front um now to the time to the point where people are waiting for um so i just going to take this hair i've i've finished with the hair so i'm just going to place the hair at the end um i'm going to show you how to create this hair I, I can't show you everything in one youtube video come on come on bro come on so i'm going to show you how to create this hair in the next youtube video um so let's just go to the hair and let me show you the details of the hair so it's quite easy to create uh but i can't do that now so because of the time i'm trying to make this short i'm just going to show you that in the next video so let's go over to this um so we're just going to take out the hair any uh one associated with the hair don't worry i'm going to make this really quick
all right and we are we, there we have it um so i'm going to just go straight and yeah i have deleted one of this <laughs> so it's all good um all we have to do is duplicate and hold shift hold alt so this was what i did uh, so i'm having having this because it's it's a max group so i'm just going to delete it and create it back again hold shift bring it down hold shift duplicate yeah okay so we have two of these and we have this also so we're just going to start with the head uh, no, let's start with the eyes. So I'll just zoom into here. Um, so because of our colors, I'll just keep it at that. I'll select the reflections that would act as details. And I'm going to use eye, eye to pick the color and click on it to get the color out. This is the second reflection. So I'm going to do that last. Um, we have this this is going to be black uh, that's the eyeball itself so that will be black we have this I'm just going to change them to the color of the reflection they're going to be they're going to be strokes so we just change the color to the color of the reflection and we have it there um, we have this this we change it to black um, sorry about that. We change it to black. Um, take out the stroke. Change the inner parts, the smaller inner reflections, and give them the color of this. Um, so we're done with the eyeglass. Uh, not really the eyeglass, but the eyes and the eyeglass. So we're going to do the eyeglass. Um, um, so this is. This is the drop down to create. I'm going to go over this fully in my next tutorial. So I'm just going to make this really quick. Um, so this is a shadow reflection of the, of the eyeglass. So I'm just going to change the main eyeglass to black, which is this, sorry about that. So I'm just going to change it to black. Um, yeah, so I'll change it to black close out the stroke i'm going to make this um i'm just going to make it this for now until we have the color on the head yeah so that's like a shadow effect of a shadow effect of the eyes the shadow effect of the eyeglass rather shadow effect of the eyeglass so we'll put this down yeah so that's perfect awesome next we're going to have to give this a color so i'm going to go there and give this this color because it's the color at the top so i'm going to give this a color we're going to add an effect to this that's why i've stated it here effect and then with that done we're just going to change this to this color um and then I just move this beneath the eye so it's not heating on well let it heat on the eye um, and then this we're going to change into a, a linear gradient so we just bring out the gradient to and we have this so move this aside click on the top so this part is going to be dark and this part is going to be light um, so we click here and pick this click here and pick this so we have this we have this um, so we have this we have a second um, gradient um, a second shape downwards so just send that downwards and then click do the same thing um, so we're going to do the same thing um, click here move this aside click on solid is going to bring down a drop down 
and then click on linear um the same thing just move it slightly upward and just slightly to the right click here and pick this i'm going to leave this color in my post on twitter in the morning so don't worry about it you can use the exact colors i used for this um tutorial um click here and choose this so we have that color click the x now we have a shape the face yeah i'm going to change this to black so we we'll just pick this pick black and uh the body so i'm just going to move this upward a bit okay no this is fine where it is so for this we're going to use black we're going to use black for this um yeah so that's black it's like a shoulder part um for this which is the body you can find you can find the body color here we're going to use this is going to both of them are going to be gradients um so i'm going to close this out set this come here linear gradient um so this this is the linear gradient so i'm going to take this i'm going to take this to the top move this back bring this downwards click here yeah it's going to have the lighter shade and the top is going to have the darker shade all right so that's the first one bring this out click it back come here to the second one close this out add do also a linear gradient um one is going to have an effect and the other one is not going to have an effect so this same thing select this this select this all right so that is that is it we just bring it really close um yeah that does it for me close this out and then now for the nose so the nose has five colors so i'm just going to duplicate this and just take it upward um close to the nose um so with that i'm just going to reduce this in size so i can still uh so let's use k k is for scaling so scaling is better because it will scale everything in the same proportion sorry i had that because i did that first all right so you can hold k just press k and it's going to scale it um so with that i would choose my representations now i'll just take this into my my board so that i can see what i'm doing duplicate so this is this is very easy uh this we're going to use this and it's not going to have an effect this is going to have this is going to have this color this is going to have um yeah it's going to have a darker shade this color and it's going to have an effect um this at the top is going to have um a color i'm going to give it this and then this the other part, part of them or which is going to be at the top i'm going to give it a very light shade and they're going to have they're going to have effects definitely they're going to have effects so i'm just going to i'm just going to take this out um yeah i'm just going to take this out uh yeah i just put it somewhere here because it's too far away from my mood board and at this point i'm going to bring in the hair the other pata pata of them all that creates um a more um better visual uh of what we are creating today and this i'm going to keep it very close to the eyeglass and it's going to go down it's going to go down 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 yeah um not really there um so i'm going to have to ungroup it because some of them would have to lap on it which is the upper part um so this is going to lap on it yes that is it yes yes 
and there we go um this is going the shoulder padding is going to go be neat yeah so yeah somewhere around there um did we get that yes we did so we're heading somewhere i hope everyone can see this clearly you can give me advice on what to do next time if the screens are too far away from you or if i'm doing something wrong um i was supposed to add this but it's already there so i'm just going to click on them i uh, i've made a mess of this so i'm just going to try to fix that real quick um this is going to take some time so bear with me All right, with that selected, I'll just group it so I, I don't have to I don't have to do that again. That was that was stressful. Woo! All right. Um so we're going to go back to what we were doing. And so this is a time a lot of persons are waiting to see how does this turn into 3D? How does it turn into 3D? How does it turn into 3D? So yeah, I'm just going to start with the eyeglass so i'm going to make this i'm just going to select both of them uh so let's just do them one after the other i'll come to effects click and i usually use this is not a time to teach you how to use effects um all of the blows so i'm going to be majorly using layer blow for this so i'm going to change this to 20 i think 20 would do yes and yeah we have that I'm going to change this also to layer blur and I'm going to change that to 20 as well. Now in one of them I created a gradient but because of time I would, wouldn't be doing that now. Um, so we have this, we just zoom into the eyes um, because I would be creating that illusion in the eye. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to turn it into a gradient, a linear gradient. And I won't be doing so much. All I'll be doing is just positioning this. Just move it inside so that this other part is like off. Okay. Um, this is not Illustrator where you can use the width tool. So I'll use the gradient. Isn't that creative enough? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing over here. Um, linear gradient. And then I'll just move it. To the right and just move it in creates an illusion of light on the eyes uh, zoom out and we have that isn't she so lovely isn't she so lovely and uh, to state that I referenced this from um, an illustrator um, uh, so I'm just going to quickly look for his name and I would also attach his name in the comment section. So this is an illustration um, by him. Sorry, give me a second. So this is an illustration by um, by Real VJY, Real VJY on Instagram. So you can check him out. He's really good. He does mostly 3D, but I'm trying to do this in Figma and I'm loving the results so far. Um, so we'll proceed. We'll continue with the rest of everything we're doing. So it's time to create that illusion of the face, turning it into 3D. So what do we do? We go to our, but our face. Where's the head? The head effect. And I'm going to pick this and it's 40. 40 so i'm going to go into effects layer blur and i'm going to change that to 40. how is that 
possible how is that possible so we have this and so we have the face the head this is the before and this is the after all right so we we'll proceed with the nose those are the major places that have more of of, of effects um, so you we'll go to the nose um, the down part don't have um, blows um, this definitely has blows this this is going to be 15 so we we'll change that to a layer blow and change it to 15 um, the next one the top one is going to be 30 but let's leave that for last there are two of this the first one is going to be 20 layer blow 20 um, we have another one in there the top one is going to be 30 so I'll just zoom in this is going to be 30 layer blow um, 30 so how do I get this calculations is it's honestly it's up to you it's really really up to you I can't I can't tell you that I don't know that I'm going to change this to layer blow 20 and if we zoom out now we have our beautiful nose so what did I do here I yeah so this is this is this is this is perfect this is this is just perfect just perfect um, zoom out and we have our nose now for the final part this is already <laughs> this is already a lot of time so for the final part which is the body um, the top is going to be 60 effects I'm going to use 60 sorry about that that is not what I wanted to do so I'm going to use 60 and yeah we have a character ready and out ready and out our character is set for the market for the labor market so this is it I'm just going to show you what I did um, for the other character uh, let me just select all of this on select this two and I'm going to group this and move it slightly and this is what I did here this is what I did here I used the Figma colors so I want Figma to be proud of me you know so we're just gonna move this aside let's take this out and then just bring in the shape um, two and just keep it I used four of the colors so I'm just going to move this downwards and duplicate um, duplicate that just press ctrl D ctrl D it's going to just duplicate for you and yeah you have it there you have it move it so with the eyedropper tool I'm going to pick the colors picked this I obviously picked this I picked the blueness I think and I picked this all right so we had this and then yeah we have yeah a character must definitely have some um, what's it called characters must definitely have shadows so I did a shadow effect so I'm, uh, I duplicated the character this is what I did I moved it downwards a bit and then I put it behind it's now behind then you come into your properties panel I created um, I created a stroke and then I took it out it takes out the entire strokes and then I created a few and the few was this all I did was to create a blend I went to the blending tab and I it's on pass through so all I did was to change it to overlay and it gave me that so I changed it to overlay and then I adjusted it to a point where I liked 
that is it guys on today uh, like I said this is my first this is my first tutorial and I hope you guys like it I'm going to do more of this as time permits me I'm going to do more of this I hope you can subscribe to my YouTube channel please subscribe to my YouTube channel like this video and drop a comment it will help me grow and it will help me understand that you guys value this and then i'm going to put out more i'm going to be drawing the encanto character nest um yeah so just to irritate to bring that back um so the encanto character i'm going to be drawing it next so i'm just going to create a triangle here and then i'm going to paste i think it's there yeah so i'm going to be drawing this nest um, this was drawn also in Figma. So I hope you guys have learned my tricks and my tips for um, drawing in Figma. And I hope you guys that don't believe that I drew this in Figma now believe that I drew this in Figma. Uh, so please leave me a comment like I said and see you in the next video. Thank you.